So let's talk about One Piece Chapter 11, which is still Episode 5 in the anime called Flight. And as we can see, Buggy was actually not defeated by Zoro. And then he reveals his devil fruit power, the Chop Chop Fruit, which allows him to split himself apart or be chopped without taking any damage. This is really an OP devil fruit if you're a swordsman. See, even Nami wasn't aware of devil fruits. She thought it was a myth, which I find interesting and I have forgotten. And Luffy's making fun of Buggy's devil fruit, even though he's a rubber man himself. Zoro was aware that Buggy had a devil fruit, but was a little careless and says... Well, he regrets not remembering that fact. But it's hard to know a person's devil fruit power unless they reveal it or you see them use it. Luffy is definitely frustrated at the fact that Buggy stabs Zoro in the back and calls him a big nose, which is the worst thing you could ever call Buggy. As we know from the previous chapter, he hates when anybody mentions his nose and is actually a death sentence. And here's Buggy's reaction to that. Uh oh. That doesn't look good for Luffy. But Luffy is a badass grabbing a freaking knife with his teeth and breaking it. What? Luffy orders Zoro to run since they're clearly at a disadvantage. But Buggy is relentless and attacks Zoro. But as we can see, Zoro's definitely holding his own. He's not known as the pirate hunter of the East Blue for no reason. He slashes Buggy and then uses the cannon to get away. This is very quick thinking from Zoro, by the way. This cannon was loaded and it was almost about to explode before Nami, you know, burned her hands trying to stop it. Again, Zoro using his impressive strength here to turn the cannon. Awesome. So the chapter actually goes into the beginning of episode 6 and after the explosion of the cannon, Zoro grabs the cage and Nami and they use this as a getaway. Even though Zoro's wounded and it is said it took five men to carry that cage, even though Luffy's inside, he managed to get away and actually run quite a long distance. This is giving Zoro some really impressive feats right at the beginning of the story. So yeah. If you like my content, please feel free to follow. It means a lot to me. And like always, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.